what options do truckers have for storing and organizing their receipts when they're on the road? Hello, I'm Vicki Simons with TruckDriversMoneySavingTips.com, and I want to be able to share with you some uh, ideas here. Now, I've got some old receipts here. Okay, uh, you can see some of these are larger, some of them are smaller, and I have these paper clipped together. Okay, and they've been done by month, and also I have organized these by dates. So you can probably see a little bit of the, the red markings there where I have uh, circled the total and the date. Okay, so how do you organize these things in a storm? I have some, um, some options here. One is a uh, canceled check. This is a f an expandable file. And this it only holds so much, and it's usually about a third of a sheet. Okay, so if you have large receipts, there's only so much room that uh, so many receipts that can fit in here. All right, we also have a um, a larger expandable file. This one happens to be for our business information, and you can see that this has uh, tabs across the top, or actually 12 tabs where you can put in uh, for the um, each month. Okay, so January, February, March, April, etc. And that has a certain amount of room. And actually, I like this one better than uh, a previous one that we had where the rubber band went around the middle. So, uh, and another option that you have is a little uh, a file box. This happens to be one of our smaller file boxes. It actually has a pretty good amount of room in here. And for being able to store uh, some of these receipts in here, uh, one of the things that you can use is manila envelopes, or you can use a hanging file system. That won't work too well in some boxes like this because, okay, the, um, the box is a little bit too narrow. I don't know if you can see that. A little bit too narrow for this. But we do have some larger uh, boxes that uh, these hanging files fit in just right. Okay, another thing that you can do is to put your receipts down into these, um, like a bigger manila envelope, not just a, a manila file folder. But the thing about it is, is because, and I don't know if you can see this, the, um, the envelope is actually longer than the box, so you will want to make sure that you uh, are taking care of um, making sure that, that that envelope folds around okay and that it's able to fit down in there okay so those are just some options that you have and uh, let's put it this way when my husband Mike and I were on the road together okay we took a larger a uh, file box than the one that I showed you and we kept some of our personally identifiable information in there some critical things like our uh, checking account information we checked the checkbook and you know some uh, extra um, you know, check stubs and things like that with us and our credit card statements, at least a number of them and some of the other things. Uh, one of the things that we like to keep with us was um, an address book. Uh, back then I did not have uh, an emergency contact list like I do now. If you go up to our free downloads uh, page on our website truckdriversmoneysavingtips.com you will see that uh, we do have two different kinds of personally identifiable uh, emergency contact lists. One is for the truck driver to have information for someone back home, probably a, a home support team member, and the other is for the home support team member to have contact information on the trucker. Okay, for example, uh, where does he work? Okay, what's the phone number at his job? Uh, how do you get in touch with his driver manager? Things like that. And if I may share a little uh, vignette that's a true story for us, there was one night when my husband was driving for a local uh, lumber uh, hauling company, and he was going to be leaving at a certain time. I expected him to be home in, say, 30 minutes or so, and he didn't show up. And so I'm not the kind of person who panics very easily, and I just was waiting. I just thought, well, maybe there's been a backup on the road or something like that. So um, an hour passed, and I think a second hour passed, and I'm like, you know, he really should have been home by now. And back in those days, we didn't have smartphones like we do now. We could text each other very easily. But he did have a phone with him, I believe, or access to something. And so I ended up calling his driver manager. I used the number that was on that emergency contact information. 
And I, you know, uh, he didn't know anything different. He thought Mike left, you know, at a reasonable time. So I thought, okay, I'm going to go ahead and call um, the sheriff's office and find out if there's been any accidents on the road. And there hadn't been. And so after a while, uh, I don't remember now specifically, but he either called me or he came home. And I said, what happened? And it turned out that he had had such a rough day, okay, that he uh, simply pulled over on the side of the road somewhere in a nice quiet place and took a two-hour nap or so. And it scared me. I said, well, honey, the next time that happens, just get, spend 10 seconds, call me, say, I'm tired, I need a nap, I'll see you when I see you. Okay, so that I wouldn't panic, okay, and like I said, I'm not the kind of person who panics. But anyway, that kind of information uh, from a trucker's perspective is also very helpful for a home support team member. For example, if you've got um, a certain account number with um, your insurance or things like that, you'll want to keep that uh, in your box or, you know, in your, um, your file, okay. So everything together, nice and tidy, nice and organized like that, not just your receipts, and speaking of receipts, there may be a time for you to purge some of your old receipts. I mean, who needs to have your grocery receipt from three years ago? You've consumed the food by now. You don't really need to hang on to that. However, if you have a receipt for, say, maintenance work that you had done on your truck, and that maintenance is good, that, that work is done good for 12 months, okay, and if your truck breaks down because that, that service uh, didn't last 12 months, then you'll want to have that. That being said, okay, some people have gone to doing a digital version of receipts. And when this uh, specific uh, broadcast is over, I'm going to be putting in the link to a service that my husband Mike and I use for our business, and it is called TaxBot. And the thing about it is, is uh, this service will allow you to be able to take a digital photograph of a receipt so that it is stored in their system and this is very uh, convenient not only that but um, if you have receipts that come to you by email okay I know of a, a real neat way to be able to convert a digital uh, email receipt into a, a, a digital email into a PDF mm -hmm. so that you can uh, let that be your digital uh, version of the receipt and save it in TaxBot that way. I will um, put our affiliate link to TaxBot into uh, the comments below this video when I am done. Okay, and uh, that being said about vir uh, virtual or digital versions of receipts, uh, you'll probably want to keep a backup hard copy of certain receipts just in case, okay? I don't know at this point which vendors do and do not accept digital versions of receipts. So, for example, if you happen to have a tax bot or another type of a service that uh, stores digital receipts for you, and they'll pull that up and you say, well, here's your receipt in digital format, they're like, pfft. We don't take that, okay? We need to have the actual hard copy. You'll want to have that. All right. When Mike and I were on the road together, we had a large box that had our stuff in it, okay? And I also want to mention security about this, okay? Um, if you call any kind of personally identifiable information uh, in your truck, remove it, take it with you if you're going to be leaving your truck for any period of time. Uh, for example, if you're going to be um, having it serviced at a terminal, at a truck stop, um, that kind of thing, make sure that you don't allow things to be taken. We've had a situation in the past, um, not to us personally, but we know of a professional truck driver who had some stuff stolen out of his truck, things that uh, could not be replaced, and that hurts. Okay, so... Um, I'm not saying empty your truck out every time you go somewhere to have something serviced, but you know uh, which things you need to take with you, things that um, you want to protect. Okay, so that's some ideas on being able to store and organize your receipts and also some of your uh, personal stuff, your uh, very um, your personally identifiable stuff and some of the things that you want to keep with you. So if there are any comments or questions, feel free to comment below or get in touch with us through our website, truckdriversmoneysavingtips.com, and we will be glad to, uh, to handle the, that for you. Also, I will post a link to our free downloads page that has the two 
um, the two emergency contact information sheets there and uh, feel free to go ahead and request that by email and we'll be glad to get that to you as soon as possible. All right, until next time, my husband Mike and I wish you safe travels and lots of money saving opportunities on the road. Have a great night, drivers. Thanks.